Luân All right, settle down, settle down, everybody. Put your pocket calculators away and eyes on the board. Thank you. Yes, I know it says boobies. Very funny. Right, uh, we've got a joke to explain. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, we, we leave the last joke up, by the way. That's a thing. That's a thing that we do here. Um, right, we have a joke to explain. And that joke is, what did Yoda say when he saw himself in 4K for the first time? So, uh, right. Well, we've got quite a few things to break down here. Let's do Yoda first. I can't really draw Yoda. That's Yoda. Um, it's sort of got Frank Oz's face. Um, yeah, that's Yoda. That's Yoda. Shut up! That's Yoda. Um, and uh, Yoda, of course, voiced by uh, the Muppets' Frank Oz, who also voiced Miss Piggy using exactly the same voice. Well done, Frank. Well done. Also, incidentally, for a long time, I thought that he... Because he, he voiced Fozzy Bear. And I thought for a long time that Fozzy was a sort of a nickname based around Frank Oz. But apparently not. No, Fozzy was somebody else that uh, Frank Oz based Fozzy on. But we're not here to explain Frank Oz Muppet character names. No! Grown men talking about puppets. Get out. No, we're here to explain a joke about Star Wars. Right. So, a kid's film. Um, what did Yoda say when he saw himself in 4K for the first time? HDMI, right? I'm just going to write these up here. So, because we need to break them down. 4K and uh, HDMI. Stop my magic whiteboard. Uh, right, so, um, let's... <sighs> video, video feeds. Video feeds of, of, of all stripes are generally um, uh, counted by the number of lines. Uh, we might remember, uh, well, we won't, because we're all too young. Uh, when BBC Two came out, one of the huge innovations in the United Kingdom when, BBC, when the channel BBC Two launched uh, was that it had uh, 625 lines compared to the <laughs> lines of BBC One. Yes, and that's why we get uh, the jazz show on BBC Two. It was called uh, Jazz 65. It was in reference to the number of lines uh, on the screen. Yes, so we've been we've been doing this for years, for decades. We've been we've been basing our understanding of uh, screen fidelity, uh, the the fineness of the of the resolution of the screen image, based on the height. Yes, so um, for a long time, for a long time. We were, we were limping along at about 720. And then all of a sudden, something wonderful happened. 1080. 1080 was, I think, um, uh, I want to say C, uh, DVD. Was it DVD or was that 720? Anyway, basically, as means of, means of reproducing uh, video improved, resolution improved. So we went from sort of, we went from 720 to 1080. And then, more recently, we went all the way up to 4000. With one slightly, slightly, uh, slightly overdone leap. Slightly overdone leap. Anyway, so that's what that's what basically what four cases HD. I think actually, I think H H to be HD. Oh, hello, that's not how you do a zero. Uh, you do. Uh, I, th I think HD is ten eighty. I've drawn that off the bottom of the screen. Anyway, that's useful. Um, what am I talking about? Right. So yes. Mm -mm. Um, in the 1970s, there was a successful science fiction movie called Star Wars, which was later retitled Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. It was retitled Star Wars for an episode, uh, Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope, um, when the second film, Star Wars Episode V, uh, came out. And Star Wars Episode V, uh, The Empire Strikes Back, which is still my favourite film, even though it's not really, doesn't really doesn't really hang together does it as a story it's not a great story it's not it's what i like to call it it's basically the, uh, and i think I, I don't know if this is original with star wars but you see it quite frequently now you get um how how, how film how the cinema industry works it is that they uh they bring out one film to see if you like it pirates of the caribbean for example they bring out Pirates of the Caribbean, see how it does, and they say, oh, well, 
it has done well. Okay, we will commission two more films and make more money. But rather than... So the first film has to, has to stand alone. That first film, it has to stand alone. But the, uh, the second and the third films, they basically want you to, to be plugged in now for the rest of the trilogy. So what they do is for the second film, they tell the first half of the story. And for the third film, they finish that story. That's basically how it works. That's basically how it works. And Star Wars, I think, was the first one that did it. So Star Wars 1, Star Wars Episode 4, and you hope that's a standalone because they didn't know how well Star Wars was going to do. And then for the following two films, yeah, basically tells one story. You see that all over. You see that all over. Uh, Avatar. The blue people one. I have... Oh, hang on, hang on. Great looking Yoda. Better than Spielberg. Thank you, thank you. Uh... I had this little back box under the screen saying, come here often. My brain thought, nope, it's the way I'm sitting. Too much time in THD's chat. Definitely, Gamora. I'm not, I can't explain that. I just can't explain it. Um, right. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me see now. Where are we? Yes! Empire Strikes Back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm all right. Hell! <laughs> I wasn't all right. Right. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I'll put it in the wash. Um, so, uh, yes. Now, uh, in A New Hope, uh, Luke Skywalker, who is a magic farmer, uh, he, um, he has to learn how to do magic better. Um, now, uh, he can't learn from uh, old Ben Kenobi, uh, who hid from the Empire by changing most but not all of his name and living in a cave. Um, uh, yeah, uh, he can't learn it from him because he, 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 he gets killed and from then on uh, just appears as a sort of a blue ghost. And you can't learn magic from a blue ghost. Who would have thought of such a thing? So um, he's, he's got to go basically and find this Muppet that lives on a planet and learn how to how to magic from the, from the Muppet um, voice, as we say, by Miss Piggy. And, uh, oh, good time. Thank you, thank you. Your second and third Star Wars was a story of unbridled uh, love uh, avoided by timely realisation they were brother and sister. Yes, Gamara, yeah. We'll, we'll, oh, I swear, there's, there's a certain amount of, not re rewriting, but reimagining that went on between episode four and episode five. And I, and I doubt with huge energy uh, anyone who says otherwise a uh, Darth Vader was not Explain Luke Skywalker's father in the first I don't I don't believe that um, and yes I don't believe that Luke and Leia were brother and sister in the first film either because yeah you don't have them snog that's like a basic rule of brothers and sisters isn't it uh, oh gosh okay shoggy uh, whew, we're gonna be in this room for a little while um, I should probably get a move on, shouldn't I? So, the, th the thing about Yoda is, despite him being this very, very wise and ancient uh, 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 um, puppet that magics, uh, never quite got the hang, the full hang of English. He's like, he learnt English up to a point, and he thought, you know what? I can get the ball across the net. I don't need to be perfect. Um, except, no, he wouldn't have said that. He would have said this. He would have said, uh, get the ball over the net, can I? That's what he'd say, because uh, he, he, he basically uh, he moves his words around, basically. So he, he has like the verb part generally at the uh, at the end of the sentence, you see. Yeah, so the joke here is that Yoda, seeing himself on the screen in 4K, in 4K for the first time, recognises that this is a high definition image, yes? So he thinks to himself, I'm in HD, but rather than saying I'm in HD, because as, as I've said, never quite, never quite, never quite fully got English down before he himself turned into a blue ghost. Um, yeah, he says HDMI. Now, HDMI sounds like uh, HDMI, which I believe stands for, I want to say, I definition uh, media image, which is the name of the cable. And, the, and essentially the the form of data traveling through that cable, the HDMI cable, which plugs into the back of a monitor. And uh, yes, oh, excuse me. 
that sneeze is still lingering. Hang on. Ah, so glad you didn't have to hear that. Right. Um, so, uh, where am I? Oh, yes. So that's why it's funny. Yeah. So he says HDMI, which sounded like H HDMI. Uh, they both sound the same, you see. When something sounds like two different things and essentially mean those two things simultaneously, it gives our brain a little bit of a tickle and we laugh. And that's why it's funny. Uh, no, it was such a long time ago. I think it was... Is it Timus? Was it Timus that... Uh, I can't remember who, whose joke that was. So whoever's jo whoever joke that was, um, have I explained it to your satisfaction? And if so, we'll move on to Commander Shruggies. But we have to start the thing again because of the way the stream works. Ah. Yes, you have. Christopher Robin says, hurrah. Jolly good, jolly good. In which case, we do this. 